Hey guys, it's Sam C from the SWOTOR guys. It's really late, but I'm deciding to record this commentary. I also want to finish my daily. So anyways, uh, we are in Hutball. I'm going to be giving you some basic Marauder PvP tips. These will most likely help you out at level 50, because I will be showing you some skills that you won't have until that level. But anyways, I'm a Annihilation spec. And as you can see, we are in Hutball as we speak. And we're going to try and get this win here. I have two more wins to get for that daily, so I want to get that done as soon as possible. It's 1 in the morning, which is why I am somewhat tired right now. And I did also mention that I am the Annihilation spec, did I not? Um, if I didn't, well, that's the spec I am. And so these tips will probably help you out more if you are that spec. So the Annihilation spec is more of a bleed effect, so damage over time, other than the other two specs, well... Carnage is mostly burst, and then Rage is a little bit of both, if I'm not mistaken. But I've actually only been Carnage and Annihilation. So anyways, uh, what you're going to want to do is use your bleed abilities to your advantage. So right at the beginning of the fight, use a Dot, which is a damage over time ability, and that is probably going to be Rupture, which does a lot of damage. It does initial damage, and then... A little over a thousand internal damage over time so that's good to use at the beginning of a fight and you're also going to want to monitor your rage so what that pretty much means is don't use the abilities that don't cost rage when you're full in rage i mean that's pretty straightforward so for example if you are low on rage you're going to want to use a skill like ravage which has the ability to do quite a bit of damage but doesn't cost rage Ravage is actually a pretty difficult skill to use in PvP because people are moving so much and it is a channeled ability, which means pretty much the person has to be standing still for it to actually work out. And also, Force Camouflage is definitely good to use when you're low on health. As you saw right there, I am able to get away. Uh, there's no healing, so what I pretty much do is just go back and pretty much kill myself. So, um, not the smartest idea, but there was no heal, so it's better than just wasting time. And then eventually dying anyway, so I get right back here. I do have a full res timer, which is pretty unlucky, but sometimes you'll be able to get right back into the fight. And besides that, don't try and be a tank. Um, you are a Sith Warrior, but that doesn't mean you're a tank like a Juggernaut, because you do have medium armor, and most likely a lot less endurance, because the PvP armor gives more strength than it does endurance. So... What you're going to want to do to stay alive here is use your Saber Ward quite a bit whenever you have it. Anyways, I usually save it in Hotball for when I have the ball, but in other war zones like Alderaan and the Void Star, I pretty much just use it whenever it's off cooldown. Saber Ward does reduce both melee and range damage for 12 seconds, so that's quite a bit of time, and uh, it's not too long of a cooldown, so it's good to use, especially when you're not in Hotball. Another one to use is Cloak of Pain, and that actually deflects damage back to your attackers. And you're going to want to use that when you're getting attacked, not before because it will only last 6 seconds. But if you are getting attacked, it will stack to a maximum of 30 seconds. So if you're aware that you're getting attacked, uh, turn it on quickly, and then that will stack for 30 seconds, and it will deflect damage back along with reducing your damage, so that's definitely a good skill to use. Another thing to note is that the Force Charge ability for the Annihilation spec is definitely improved. Uh, no matter what though, it's good to use, especially for building up that early rage in a fight, so instead of just rushing in there without Force Charging, I would prefer to actually just stay back until that Force Charge is off cooldown. That definitely helps that to be Annihilation spec though, because there is a shorter cooldown while in Annihilation, so no matter what though, it is a good skill to use, even if you are Carnage or Rage, because it does get that initial Rage in a 1v1 fight, and that's really good to use, so anyways, moving on, this next tip will actually be appropriate for pretty much any class in the game, but that tip is to grab bonuses when you can, so as you can see right here, I kind of take damage grabbing this not the greatest move but i did grab that damage and then i was able to kill this um sorcerer here really quickly 
I did have some help, but those are definitely good to use because it just gives you an advantage over pretty much anyone in the game when you grab those bonuses. And the healing one is also really good to use, especially when you're low on health or when someone else is low on health on the enemy team. It's good to even take it so that person doesn't get it. So I usually, when I'm grabbing those healing bonuses, I look around, see if any of my teammates need it more than me. But if there is no allies that need it more than me, I'll probably grab it no matter what, even if I'm not very low on health. Because it is good to have that top off of health, just like that in the fight, so that's good. But anyways, I actually have one more tip for the Marauder class, and that is to use your predation. I think it's pronounced predation, I'm not entirely sure. And bloodthirst whenever you can, because that actually increases defense, the predation one, and also increases run speed. So that's probably the best skill for you to have in Hotball because it increases your party members speed and also yours, so that makes capping a lot easier. And Bloodthirst actually increases your damage along with your party members damage. So in war zones like the other two, Alderaan and the Void Star, that is more helpful to use than predation unless you are getting focused and need that extra defense so just make sure to use those whenever you can you do need 30 fury to be able to use that so if you don't have that skill that builds up 30 fury you can just keep using skills until eventually you get it but other than that that's pretty much all the tips i have i'm going to quickly switch to the live commentary that i recorded during this war zone so i'll be back in a second to get this pass off come on yeah, there we go. Okay, hopefully one of these guys jumps over there. Okay, sweet. Now I can jump over and help this guy out. Oh, okay, I didn't get the ball. That's probably good. The juggernaut got it besides me, or other than me. Oh, he's getting taken out, though. Uh oh Come on. No, oh, I didn't get the pass off. No, oh, that works. <laughs> it's always good when the ball goes to someone that has, like, 2 HP left. Come on, get the pit. Oh, oh, that's awesome. That was nice and lucky. So, uh, if you go into the other team's spawn, you automatically die. So that guy force jumped to his spawn, apparently. And then about half a second later, I force jumped to him. And I ended up dying. What's he doing over there? He's, like, against the wall. That was odd. Okay, so we got the ball back. Should be an easy win here. We're up 3 nothing. so really not that big of a deal. I might even skip ahead here because kind of just filler right now we don't really need to show you this but i'll probably show you most of it because that wouldn't be a video if i didn't am i right i don't know uh in my last video i just showed you clips but it wasn't as good i don't think i really want to get that assassin medal if you don't know what that is that's when you kill an enemy player just by yourself so he doesn't take damage from a different player i'm so dead right now uh come on make it a heal oh had some damage uh, over time thing on me or something. I don't know how many times Force Camouflage saved me. I mean, that wasn't a good example, but I bet I've been saved. Like, I have 100 last deaths because of that Force Camouflage ability. He's still just standing there, right? Doing nothing. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, uh oh. This is not looking good. I got completely owned there. That guy's probably gonna cap. Gotta get back. Oh no, he's right on the edge there. If I can just get to him and force jump. Come on. Oh, as if he got that. He's so dead. So I'm pretty depressed. Uh, I don't have my second purple lightsaber yet. What the purple lightsabers are are PvP lightsabers, so I don't have the second one yet. And I've opened up like 40 bags probably, and I still haven't found it. Probably more than that, actually. If you guys don't know what the bags are, it's these PvP bags. They're called champion bags. And you get those by either completing dailies, PvP dailies, or trading in commendations for them. And once you get those bags, you can open them. And sometimes they'll give you a random piece of your own PvP gear. And most of the time they don't, though. And usually you just end up getting these stupid combinations that are kind of useless. And you can trade them in for lower tier PvP armor, but it's not that helpful. So I just keep opening these bags. I went about 30 bags without actually getting an item. So it's pretty rattling. 
I finally started getting items though. I got really lucky for a bit and I got like nine items and ten megs, so it was really good. So now I'm all all I'm missing is that second lightsaber and a helmet. So should have the full champion gear soon. Then once I get Valor rank 65, I can start getting that uh, Battle Master gear, which is the best PvP gear in the game at this point. I might actually be able to cap here. I'm getting owned. I might be able to pass to him though. Come on, get the pass off. Uh-oh. Come on. Ah, oh, I stunned that guy so hard. There's no way he got that. And then the operative owns me. I don't care what anyone says, Operative's the most OP class in the world. Alright, you operatives out there, you know you're OP, don't even deny it. I get like one shot by them, it's so depressing. And I just said that, I was actually pointing at the screen, I've never done that in my life. That was quite odd, but that's just how worked up I am about these stupid operatives. I mean, once they get that initial like attack out, I mean, they're pretty much useless. But they usually end up killing you in that first attack because you get pretty much stun locked for the rest of your life. And then they end up owning you, but I'm not here to complain. Uh, I've killed them before, they're not that good. They're a bit OP though, I think they should be nerfed. That's just my opinion though, so anyways, there's one right there, isn't it? Maybe not. I can never tell who they are until they stealth behind me and own me. Uh, this guy's just trying to get away. It's just not going to happen, bud. Does have his speed buff on, though. That's not good. I always want to say speed boof. I'm not entirely sure why, but I, it just always ends up coming out. I'm surprised I didn't say it there. Whenever speed and buff go together, I just want to say speed boof. It makes no sense. Stun on the fire. Come on. Oh, stupid force choke last. Barely last at all. Okay, 4-2, and we can handle that. There's only 3 minutes left. I doubt they can cap that fast. I guess we'll see here. They only have 2 Warzone two war zones to win for that stupid daily. Uh, I don't know why it's stupid. I just called it stupid. That was uncalled for. How'd this guy get the ball and I didn't? That's so garbage. I've just turned into a complete complainer right now. Complaining about operatives being OP. Complaining about the dailies. Just is not good right now. Okay, he died somehow. And I got 1k defender points. That's beautiful. Hutball, I usually don't get that much damage in because I usually focus on objectives most of the time. Oh, oh I got the ball. Okay. Time to leave. Predation, go. Go. It never works for me. Any of you marauders out there, like, have a really long delay on that skill like you, you'll use it and then it won't work for about 20 seconds i don't know if that's just me it's quite annoying when you have the ball and you're getting slowed it's really key to have that okay hopefully i can just pass this over and i'll die oh man i'm getting owned yeah, that works and then i die Pretty much if you grab the ball at the middle, you're just eventually going to die, unless the other team sucks. So you pretty Today's much just have to hope to get the pass off. Pretty much just taking one from the team. We got two mayhem. minutes left, so looks like we pretty much got this in the bag. Um, and then hopefully it counts, because some of my Warzone wins haven't been counting lately. It's pretty annoying. Where's this ball carrier? Oh, up there. I missed him. Okay. Take this guy out. I think he is a marauder. Um, yeah. yeah a marauder. Which means he'll die pretty quick. This, he has all his damage buffs on. His defense buffs, sorry. Even then, we died pretty, fairly quick. Especially if you don't have items. Eventually, though, you can start tanking quite a bit when you have the full PvP armor. I found that I'm lasting a lot longer without dying, especially when I'm getting focused with the ball or something. Yeah, I end up lasting a lot longer than I used to when I didn't actually have items. Perhaps the worst throw and yeah, we're down to the final history. minute. That pretty much really, means I can really do my goodbye down. message or whatever that is. And that is going to be, please like and favorite this video if you enjoyed this video. I just said video twice in like five seconds. That's not good. Um, yeah, so like and favorite it if you enjoyed it, and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of PvP 
and PvE content. So right now I'm uploading a lot of hard mode flashpoint walkthroughs, as well as some operation guides coming very soon. And I do want to do a few more world bosses. I've done two already, but I kind of want to finish it all out and just do every world or every world boss in the game. So that'd be pretty cool. But anyways, like I said, be sure to subscribe and please leave a comment if you uh, if you want. I mean, that'd be nice. I'll probably, well, I usually always respond to my comments, especially if they ask questions. So feel free to ask any question you want. But that is going to do it for this video. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.